Yo, what's going on YouTube? Just Jake here and welcome back to my channel for another GTA 5 video. And in today's video, we're going to be customizing and reviewing the brand new, currently unreleased, Principe Devastay 8. Uh, brand new supercar. <laughs> this looks insane, man. This looks fucking crazy. This is the only supercar um, from the unreleased vehicles from the Arena War update, which in a way I am quite happy about because... In previous updates, we've been bombarded with um, supercars, and um, it's about time that they've slowed their roll a little bit on the supercars. And I think actually in this update, we got more muscle cars than we did anything else, which is a plus in my book because muscle cars in um, GTA kind of fell behind a little bit. It was all about supercars and sports cars. Um, but it's good to see in this update we do have a few more muscle cars. But anyway, back to the Prince of Hay Devastate 8. That is a crazy, insane name to go with this crazy, insane looking vehicle. Look at them exhaust pipes, man. But as you can see, this vehicle is um, very, very unique. Very unique. I'm not really sure why it's so long at the back. But nevertheless, let's get this bad boy into LS Customs and see what sort of customizations we can do to it. So here we go dudes, as always, we are going to start this build with 100% body armor, then we're going to go to the brakes, we're going to get the race brakes for the bumper, front bumper. Um, we don't have too many options for this, and they don't really change anything, unfortunately. It's literally just that little splitter at the bottom, it's called a bridge, and it's exactly the same thing, it just changes color. And me personally, I think it looks better without, so I'm going to say stock, and for the rear bumper, uh, pretty much the same thing. It's just a <laughs> just a color change of the diffuser. My God, yeah. So customizations on this thing so far isn't overwhelming. Unfortunately, it is a little bit lackluster. But you know, it is what it is. It is a pretty insane vehicle. There's not really much you can do to it to make it a little bit more crazy. But anyway, what we got next? We've got the chassis and we've got the primary trim. Secondary trim, uh, uh, literally just changing that bottom bit underneath the window wiper there. Wow, my God, uh, what is the point of even cha even changing it? You don't, you hardly even see it, man. What is the point? Why even put it in there? Shit. Anyway, moving on. Engine, we're gonna get the level four engine upgrade. The exhausts are crazy enough. You can't really see what it is. Here we go. If we accelerate, we get rid of the smoke so we can see what's going on in there. So you can get gold stubbies. The gold jets look cool, man. I like them. And the titanium jets. If I'm going to go with the titanium jets, and it's sad that the, <laughs> the most customization so far is the exhaust pipes. What's all that about? But anyway, we're going to go titanium jets, like I said. Skip the horn headlights. We're going to go the Xeon headlights. We're going to skip a neon kit for this build. Then we've got the liveries. And we've got the pink pinstripe. That's... I actually don't look too bad. It's all right. It makes it look a little bit futuristic, you know? And then we've got the racing liveries. Plus 9,000. Not really sure what that means. Then we've got... Oh, man. Why would you do it? Why would you do it to a car as beautiful as this? Then we've got Lux Stripes, Grey Pinstripe, which is obviously going to be the same as the pink one, which you can just about see. Actually look really good. I'm, I'm actually digging them ones. I think I might go with that and keep the car the colour that it is. Then we've got the Negative Stripes. You can just about make them out. Then we've got the Sasanta Nove. That's not too bad. Pretty classy. Got Junk. Hmm. So if you want to go for that race car livery vibe, I think this is probably the best one that we've come across so far. And then the ammunition, and that's it. So these ones I don't really like. You know, the heavy sponsored liveries, I think they look a bit weird. Especially on a, such a awesome looking supercar. Uh, like I said, if you did want to go for a racing livery, I think this junk one's probably the best. This Sasanta Nove livery is pretty smart. That's not too bad. Um, but I'm not really feeling a livery for this, I don't think. The pink one was, you know, unique, a little bit different. Uh, but yeah, I'm not a massive fan of it, so I'm going to skip past that. Then we are going to go to the respray. We're going to go primary color, go metallic. And I'm feel I don't even know what I'm feeling for this, man. Maybe like a, a purple? Shit. That looks nuts. Bright purple actually looks really 
really good especially with them black rims because I highly doubt I'm going to be changing them rims because um, they are something special but I'm actually feeling purple for this so I'm going to go a metallic bright purple for the primary colour and for the secondary colour I'm also going to go metallic and I'm assuming this is just going to change the wing mirrors which it does frost white actually looks really good on them or ice white I'm going to go ice white for the secondary colour in metallic and next we're going to go to the trim colour is this actually going to be the colour of the interior which it is might go bright purple Hell yeah, man. Let's go bright purple for the interior. Then we do get an option for a spoiler, which is something I wasn't really expecting. And they're just going to be little shitty little <laughs> spoilers like that. How pathetic is that? But you do get a traction upgrade, which is um, obviously good if you're going to be using this vehicle for races. So you do kind of want to buy a spoiler if you're going to use it for a race. But if you're just going to be using it for around the streets of LS, not really much point in buying it because I think it's going to ruin the look of it somewhat. Yeah, and these ones are odd, especially that man. They just look just look out of place, don't look right. Um, like I said, if you're going to use it for a race, obviously you do want to purchase a spoiler just because you get the uh, the traction upgrade. And in my opinion, it would have to be uh, these ones, the aero split ones, because they're the smallest ones on the back, and they <laughs> they don't really look that bad. They look shit, but they don't look as bad as the others. But for me, I'm going to stay with none for the spoiler. Then we're going to move to the suspension. I'm going to get the lowered suspension transmission. We're going to get a race transmission. And we're going to get the turbo tuning. And to finish off the build, because we're going to skip past the wheels, because these wheels are awesome, we're going to go to the windows, light smoke, to finish the build off. So you go, my dudes. There is my build on the currently unreleased Prince of Pay Devastate 8. And I hope you all agree that this looks awesome. And it sounds amazing too just sounds so good so good then wheels as standard are fucking awesome as well don't see why anyone would want to change them really really nice that's just an insane looking car it just sounds amazing let's quickly see if we can pick up some speed so it's obviously quite quick don't know if it's going to rival the top supercar in its class um, obviously you'd have to wait for an official supercar testing video to come out to to see what's going on with that but it feels all right it feels responsive it feels quick Ooh, ooh, and it likes to, it does stick to the road like there it could have quite easily spun out but it was well saved and um i'm overly impressed with it looks speed handling yeah man i think it's uh it's definitely a winning supercar. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy, please hit that like button. If you haven't already, why not subscribe to my YouTube channel for more GTA 5 videos like this. And until next time, guys, I'm out. Adios.